assalamu alaikum in this lecture we are going to talk about the drawbacks of the overcurrent relay now in the setting of the overcurrent relay without any directional element we only consider the magnitude of the fault current as a deciding factor whether the fault has occurred or not but in the system we have uh, different type of faults we can have a ground faults as well as phase faults and the currents in all the types of faults are different so we, but now as we have different type of fault currents and also the zs the source impedance is also varying it means we have different fault currents because of different faults as well as with respect to varying source impedance so we are always worried about the security of the relay operation because there is a chance with the changing current because of uh, the type of fault or the changing zs the source impedance the relay might underreach or overreach let's take an example we have a source then we have the source impedance and we are going to protect this feeder with overcurrent relay and this zs is varying why i am saying that this zs is varying because we have to get power from different sources like we have one generator generator 1 that is closer to this feeder the other one is generator 2 that is farther from this feeder so this is the generator that is closer to the uh, the feeder and this is that is farther from the system from this particular feeder so now when generator 1 is providing power to this feeder the zs value will be smaller with respect to g2 the zs value will be larger so if you have some assumption and you have used generator 1 and you have used the minimum fault current value at this point and the maximum fault current value at this point and you have made the setting of the relay based on this maximum fault current value and the minimum fault current value and there is a fault in the center of the line and the fault current if is flowing and the setting is already being made with respect to g1 but when the fault has occurred the feeder is being fed from generator number 2 so if it is fed from generator number 2 it means zs has increased and if zs is increased if will be smaller value in compared to the zs of generator number 1 because this fault current is actually dependent on the source impedance value so in this case when the generator 2 is feeding the fault current it the relay will see this fault current somewhere here actually the fault is occurring at this point but due to the fault current value the relay will think that the fault has occurred at this point so this is the under reach of the relay right and similarly for the three phase fault for example if zs is decreased three phase fault already have higher value with respect to the ground faults so in that case the relay will think that the fault current is occurring in the adjacent feeder somewhere here but we have to protect the feeder between these two buses right so if i have to draw a graphical representation of this case we will take the operating time 
on y axis and fault location on the x axis right and this will be the graph as the zs will increase this graph will move in the upward direction zs is increasing and if zs is decreased then the graph will move in the downward direction and as the operating time is dependent on the value of the fault current in idmt's inverse definite minimum time over current relays the operating time is dependent on the fault current value so if zs is changing due to the changing generators then the fault current is actually changing so the operating time is also changing so if zs is increased the operating time will increase because the fault current is reduced and if the zs is decreased the operating time will reduce because the fault current is increased similarly if line to ground fault will occur in the case when zs is increased the relay will underreach and this graph will move in this direction but if a three phase fault has occurred with smaller zs three phase fault fault is already a severe fault and zs is also decreased then what will happen the fault is further increased the fault current will further increase so this curve has to move in the direction opposite to the y axis so this is the over reach condition so that's why we can use the over current relay with the uh, some good results in the distribution feeder but in case of transmission line the security will be the major issue because if there is the fault tripping of a transmission line there is a case that the whole power system will become unstable so in the case of transmission line we use distance measurement or distance relay so that distance relay will be used in the transmission line and we will discuss this distance relay in the coming lectures thank you